What's up guys, my name is Kabir Lee and welcome to the Medical Mix. Today, we'll be talking about what you should do to protect yourself from the problem of spreading the novel coronavirus on surfaces in your home. Let's go! The novel coronavirus, also known as SARS-CoV-2, has had a detrimental impact on our world. Wherever you're watching this video from, you've probably been affected in some way. So let's make sure that you understand how the virus spreads before getting to how to clean for it. The virus is communicated to others through respiratory droplets from our lungs. These droplets can reside in the air for up to three hours and can stay on surfaces for much longer. Live science states that copper can hold the virus for four hours, cardboard for 24 hours, and it can live on plastic and stainless steel for up to three days. This is why it's so quick to spread. So what can we do to reduce our likelihood of becoming infected? Well first, self-isolation is essential to making sure the virus is not spread to different parts of the world and even parts of our communities. You've probably heard this a million times by now, but make a point of washing your hands. This is not an arbitrary procedure or some kind of gimmick. Scientists have proven that washing your hands thoroughly for 20 seconds with soap completely eliminates the virus. We can also ensure that our homes are well ventilated. This includes opening windows and making sure that there is ample airflow. By increasing the air quality, we are lowering the risk of infection. Alright, now let's get to surfaces. We should make sure to disinfect our household surfaces properly so the virus cannot live on them. These include all kitchen countertops, furniture, and also flooring, whether it be hardwood, laminate, or tile. Before disinfecting, we should make sure to clean the surface. Now, this may seem like the same thing, but there's a very, very important difference. The CDC has defined cleaning as the removal of germs, dirt, and other impurities from any surfaces. Cleaning does not kill the pathogen, but it can remove a large quantity of it from the surface. This involves the use of detergents or soap and water mixtures. After cleaning a surface, it should then be disinfected. This can be done by using EPA registered disinfectants such as Clorox commercial solutions or Lysol products. Alcohol solutions with at least 70% alcohol are also effective. The CDC also recommends creating a bleach solution with 5 tablespoons of bleach to 1 gallon of water. Yeah, come on. Yo, can I show them how to clean? Okay, sure. Yeah, okay. Guys, um, gonna show you how to clean properly, you know, for coronavirus. Our stuff. Come on over here. All right, guys. First things first, we're going to want to clear the surface. So let's get this iPad out of here. And then now we gotta take the cleaners. So this is cleaner plus bleach from Clorox. Uh, we don't want to use any bleach on the table, so we'll move this to the side. And this is also just another bottle of bleach, which you can use to create that CDC recommended solution. Let's move that over here. But what we can use on this table is the Lysol wipes. So we'll just grab a wipe here, take one out, close this back up. Make sure you seal this properly, or else all your wipes are going to dry up. So I'll move this aside here. And what we're going to want to do is put this wipe down flat and make sure that we cover every edge of the table, every spot on the table. We want to make sure that we get to it. Make sure you're getting the edges of the table, the corners. So continue going through here all the way till we are done with the table. And this wipe now is dirty, so we'll take this up, close it, and then also we can use the surgical technique for taking off gloves. So you grab this piece here, you're gonna put that over. Now you can see that wipe is concealed inside. This hand is uh, partially clean. You still have to wash it, but it's clean. And then close that up in this fist. Take your hand here and push it through. And come right over. Now you've got a little pack here, so you're not touching any part that's contaminated. And we'll take this, and we'll go throw it away. And now we're done. That's good. All right. Get back in here now. Alright, now that we know how to clean, let's continue. Cleaning food containers is also essential to keeping the virus at bay. This can be done using the EPA registered disinfectants and also using soap and water and scrubbing thoroughly. Also, if you buy any food, make sure to transfer it into a clean container and then discard the container that it came in to reduce the spread. 
You can find a link to a list of all EPA registered disinfectants in the description box below. Be sure to use gloves during this process so that you can stay safe. And after you're done cleaning and disinfecting a surface, throw the gloves away and wash your hands thoroughly. Okay, moving on. Let's discuss how to deal with laundry items. First off, make sure that you're wearing clean gloves while handling the items. Try not to shake them too much as this can release the virus into the air. Also, on your washing machine, make sure you use the warmest temperature setting possible. As a side note, the CDC states that it's completely okay to wash clothes from an infected person with clothes from a healthy person. After washing, make sure that the laundry items are completely dry before putting them back in the closet. Another precaution you can take is to disinfect your hampers or use a disposable bag liner. Alright guys, that's it for me. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the newest medical tech. Also, if you have any topics you'd like me to cover or suggestions for me, please make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the mix.